Bucyrus RH400. Another colossal vehicle used by the mining industry, the Bucyrus RH400 is the world's largest hydraulic excavator. This jumbo-sized excavator takes advantage of the science of hydraulics to lift astonishing amounts of weight with ease. Its 14 hydraulic pumps hold a staggering 3,400 gallons of fluid. It's no wonder that this is the most powerful hydraulic system used in excavation anywhere in the world. The Bucyrus RH400 was designed to work in even the most difficult of environments. It makes short work of the Alberta oil sands, an area that is notoriously hard to excavate. Need to lift an elephant? How about 11 of them? Because that's equivalent to the 85 tons that the RH400 is capable of lifting. It can fill some of the largest mining trucks in the world in just a few scoops. Compared to other machines of a similar size, the Bucyrus RH400 is surprisingly Bulaz 75710. If you've ever wondered what the biggest dump truck in the world looks like, you can put your mind to rest. The Bulaz 75710 has held that title since its release in 2013. You might typically think of America when it comes to giant machines, but this beastly truck comes straight from Belarus. It's hard not to feel small around the Bulaz 75710. It reaches an immense 27 feet in height at the tallest point. This isn't just the biggest dump truck, it also has the largest capacity. The Bulaz 75710 can carry cargo up to 450 tons in weight. Each of its eight wheels can support up to 102 tons, allowing the Bulaz 75710 more than enough breathing room to support its 350 ton frame. A unique dual engine system allows the Bulaz to output 2300 horsepower. Despite its mammoth size, the Bulaz the Torno L2350. When you've got some dirt to move, you might turn to a shovel or even a small digger for hire. What do you do when it's a lot of dirt, though? That's where the Latorno L2350 comes in. This is the largest earth mover on the planet, and even holds the Guinness World Record for that title. As you can imagine, moving vast quantities of earth is no problem for the Latorno L2350. It has a payload of up to 80 tons. What's even more impressive is that it can lift that payload up to 24 feet in the air. This gargantuan digger was designed to load a 400-ton mining truck with ease, something that many other earth movers struggle to keep up with. The Latorno L2350 may not be a spring chicken as far as regular vehicles go, but in the world of mega-sized mining trucks, this is a relatively quick machine. The Latorno features a 65-liter, 16-cylinder engine that delivers 2,300 horsepower. This allows the Overburdened Conveyor Bridge F60. Up next is a machine so big, you might not even realize that it's a vehicle at first. We are of course talking about the Overburdened Conveyor Bridge F60. This megalithic vehicle was designed and built in Germany. It was created to be used in the mining of brown coal. These enormous machines transport waste from the coal mining process along their conveyor belted bridges in order to remove it from the mine. The Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 is really long. It's really, really long. The F60 is actually the longest vehicle ever made. It's known affectionately as the Lying Eiffel Tower. It takes an astonishing three years to finish building an Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. The first of these gargantuan machines dates back to 1969 and was completed in 1972. But they were manufactured all the way up to the most recent unit that rolled off Liebherr T284. Moving huge volumes of raw materials and waste products is an expensive business. The bigger the truck, the more fuel it uses. That's where the Liebherr T284 comes in. This monstrous dump truck has been designed to be incredibly fuel efficient. The Liebherr T284 is one of the lightest vehicles in its class, weighing in at just 661 tons. While that might sound underwhelming, it means that this truck is capable of moving more tons per hour than competing vehicles and at lower cost. As you'd imagine, a truck of this size is capable of shifting some serious weight. The Liebherr T284 has a maximum payload of a jaw-dropping 400 tons. A 20-cylinder diesel engine delivers 3,750 horsepower, which when combined with Liebherr's specially designed IGBT system, 
allows the truck to hit a reasonably fast top speed of 64 miles per hour. Kumatsu 930E4 Dump Truck The final vehicle of our list is another gargantuan mining vehicle. The Kamatsu 930E4 dump truck is a monstrous beast when it comes to moving volume. This is a seriously huge dump truck. The tires alone have a radius of over 12 feet. That brings the Kamatsu 930E4 up to a total height of 23 feet. Even more impressive is the fact that Kamatsu are able to assemble a 930E4 in just 10 days. Unlike its less sophisticated brothers, the Kamatsu 930E4 is rather uniquely an electric drive truck. That doesn't mean it's a slouch in the acceleration department though. It features 2700 horsepower and a respectably quick top speed of up to 40 miles per hour. The electric drivetrain system is powered by a 16-cylinder diesel engine. While this engine runs, it generates electricity for the Kamatsu 930E4 to use in the wheel Mabambi 4. While most of the vehicles on our list have been in the mining industry, the next one is in a different line of work. The Mabambi 4 is a gigantic armored personnel carrier from the South Africa-based Paramount Group. Designed with versatility in mind, this enormous vehicle can be used to transport personnel through the most dangerous of conditions. The hull has been specially devised to withstand explosive attacks from all sides, even from underneath. The Mabambi 4 is all about keeping its passengers alive. The rear door opens to form a power-operated ramp, allowing the soldiers inside to disembark rapidly and get into the heart of the combat. The Mabambi 4 is no lightweight either. It comes in at an astonishing 16 tons and is capable of carrying a payload of up to 2.3 tons. A six-cylinder turbo diesel engine delivers 450 horsepower, providing some serious power. The Mabambi 4 is capable of incredibly- Mil Mil 26 a Soviet Russian twin-engine to heavy transport helicopter that definitely stands out when placed to regular helicopters. Here is the Mil Mil 26. It's perfect for both military and civilian purposes, and is the second largest and powerful helicopter in the world that entered into service in 1985. The helicopter features eight main rotor blades and five tail rotor blades fitted above the mid-fuselage section on hump. Thanks to the heavy load carrying capacity and high cruise speed feature, the helicopter is also pretty economically efficient. Moreover, there is a cargo compartment on the rear side of the cockpit which is 39.9 feet long, 10.8 feet wide, and can hold two combat vehicles of approximately 2,204 pounds each. Two electric winches on the overhead rails are used to move loads into the cabin, and the helicopter even features a closed circuit television camera to monitor the positioning of slung load. NASA Crawler Transporter to carry a space shuttle from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad on a mobile launcher platform, NASA needs a system that can stand up to the challenge, and the crawler transporter does precisely that. It travels at approximately 1 mile per hour, and does a pretty remarkable job at negotiating turns and an uphill incline of 5%, while keeping the shuttle steady. The distance from the VAB to launch pad 39B is around 4.2 miles and that is the route commonly used for shuttle launches. The crawler transporter consists of multiple systems and subsystems, including AC power, DC power, hydraulic steering, engine monitoring, DC propel, roller bearing Lincoln lubrication, strain and temperature system, hydraulic jacking, fire detection and alarm, pneumatics, and condition monitoring control. It's a vehicle that tech geeks can marvel at all day. Big Bike by Fabio Reggiani Ever wondered what's the largest rideable motorcycle in the world look like? Italy's Fabio Reggiani decided to find out the answer. The race for bigger, faster, and stronger never seems to end, and the Guinness World Records books honors each individual who never gives up on trying. Lucky for us, because we get to witness wonders like the big bike, with its stunning red and gray paints, a kicked out front end, and high as the sky extended ape hangers, there's no question this bike is visually captivating. This gigantic cycle was unveiled in 2012 at the Motorbike Expo, Verona, Italy, and it isn't surprising everyone in attendance was pleasantly delighted. Measuring 16 feet and 8 inches high and weighing over 5.5 tons, the big bike features a 5,000cc V8 Cherry motor boasting 280 horsepower. The most impressive part is Fabio. Hi, Harkis Bike Rack. 
Bikes are a great way to get around. They're eco-friendly, very affordable, and great for your health. The only problem with them is that they take up a lot of space. If you're struggling with finding room to store your two rack, go board. Anyone who has children will know that prioritizing space isn't always the easiest thing to do with your kids around. Having room for workspaces, play areas, and beds can put a strain on the family home. The Kali Duo Board is an innovative new bed that takes this problem head on. One of the biggest problems with space saving in the home is the fact that large objects of furniture take up room even while you're not using them. Beds are undeniably one of the worst culprits of this problem. The Kali Duo Board takes a full-size two-person bunk bed and transforms it into a beautiful long desk workspace. It achieves this by using a unique pivoting mechanism that folds away the beds into almost nothing. This super high quality piece of furniture is manufactured in Italy by design firm Resource. They are so confident in the workmanship of the Kali Duo Board that they offer every single customer an astonishing 20 year warranty. Functional. Poly Cave Bar. The next invention on our list might have you feeling a bit like you're in a James Bond movie with its sleek and sophisticated styling. The Poly Cave Bar is a fully automatic concealed bar that emerges from your kitchen floor at a moment's notice. Your dinner guests will be delighted by the impressive way the Poly Cave Bar reveals itself from the floor, using powerful hydraulics to achieve this amazing effect. The Poly Cave Bar can be customized to match your interior design, with various options for whatever your home aesthetic. It can match the tiling on your floor for the ultimate in concealment, or Feature a glass top, which allows you and your guests to see into the bar at all times. For those of you with impressive wine collections, the Poly Cave Bar is the perfect way to save a little space in the kitchen. There's room to hold an incredible number of bottles, freeing up your space for other things. Elbow thing you can think of. Before it erupted in 1815, Mount Tambora stood 14,000 feet tall, making it one of the highest peaks in Indonesia. Today, it holds the record for the largest volcanic eruption in recorded human history, registering a 7 out of 8 on the VEI. Mount Tambora erupted violently on April 10th of 1815, but smaller steam-based eruptions continued for the next three years. The blast obliterated everything on the island, sending three-mile-long pumice rafts out to sea. Pumice is a type of volcanic rock. When submarine or coastal volcanoes erupt, they create giant floating land masses known as pumice rafts. Some biologists believe animals and plants use pumice rafts to migrate from island to island. The eruption sent between 38 and 51 cubic miles. If you were scrolling through your social media feeds in mid-January of 2022, you probably saw some shocking satellite imagery. A violent eruption in the Pacific Ocean disrupted the calm view of Earth. A mushroom cloud of smoke rose into the atmosphere after Hunga Tonga Hunga Hayapai, or Hunga Tonga for short, erupted in the Pacific Ocean. Hunga Tonga is a submarine volcano, meaning it's hidden underwater. While satellites captured the eruption itself, they missed the 50-foot tsunami waves that ravaged the archipelago of Tonga. The Kingdom of Tonga is a group of 169 islands nestled about 500 miles off the coast of Fiji. Just over 100,000 people live scattered among the islands, and all of them feared the worst when Hunga Tonga blew its lid. The Tongan capital of Nuku'alofa is only 40 miles from the volcano. The country of Indonesia is one that is made up of two major land masses separated by a narrow body of water called the Sunda Strait. In the middle of the water between the two halves exists an island that was once much larger than it is today. But you'd have to go back to the early summer of 1883 to see it. Krakatoa Island, more commonly known for the supervolcano below it, exploded on August 27th of 1883 taking 70% of the island and 36,000 people with it. Krakatoa consists of three smaller volcanoes on the island, Perboatan, Danan, and Rakata. All three had been brewing for years, and earthquakes felt as far as Australia foreshadowed what was to come. 
Steam spewed up from the three volcanoes, and minor explosions left a layer of ash on the ground about 20 inches thick. Finally, on August Latin, the word Novarupta translates to newly erupted. The Novarupta volcano got its name in 1912, after the largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century. Located in the Katmai National Park on the Alaskan Peninsula, Novarupta didn't put too many people in danger. But, after a series of preceding earthquakes rocked the area, local villagers got the hint. They hightailed it out of there, knowing the soon-to-be Novarupta was due to blow. On June 6th of 1912, the Novarupta volcano erupted with incredible force, registering a 6 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. For reference, the VEI measures how big volcanic eruptions are, similar to how we measure earthquakes and hurricanes. It works on a scale of 1 to 8. Level 1 describes daily eruptions that we don't even notice, like 